The mission of Nikon Travel is simply to take enthusiastic photographers to photogenic places on the African continent where they can achieve the greatest photographs in the shortest possible time span. Why specifically this boat on the Chorbe? Simply because I think we can achieve the best result in the shortest possible time. Um, I've been photographing this area in Southern Africa for the best of 20 years. I always take a home a lot of great photographs, but I always lose a lot of great photographs as well. Opportunities that gone uh, begging because on a boat with other, with other non-photographers, not having enough space, not having the right equipment, can't move around freely, that hampered me and that cost me a lot of shots. And I know that the photographers that join us here simply need, have a limited number of time that they need the most possible great shots out of. And I honestly feel that there's nowhere else in Southern Africa, frankly in Africa, that I can take photo photographers. And in this short time, let them go home with the same number of great photographic images. What made this trip different low, I think, is the fact that it's dedicated to w photographing from water. The equipment we're using, the boat, the infrastructure, in other words, uh, the seating arrangement, the camera uh, facility, uh, the ability to move around, have your gear at hand has just been quite unique. Comparing this to, for example, shooting out of a dedicated Land Rover, it's just an entirely different experience. It's, uh, I've never had anything like this ever before. What changed my results on this trip low, uh, photographing wildlife from this particular boat, I think is the absolute uh, focus and the careful thought that's gone into positioning where you sit, how you move, how you can access your shots. So the chair, for example, is just a unique bit of engineering. It allows me to sit comfortably. It allows me to operate my lens to move it in or away from my body. It allows me to swivel 180 degrees round, all in the space of maybe a second or two. So it's just so much more versatile in terms of uh, designing the shot, creating the composition that you want to. Um, and then, of course, doing it from water is what's really made it so vastly different to any other trip I've ever done before. Uh, you're not confined to just your shot out of the window of the Land Rover. You, you have a virtually 270 degree variation that you can compose your shot through, all available within a second or two. Just an absolutely unique experience. Yeah, the big feature of the boat is, is uh, I think, partly the hull, but, but most importantly, the layout of the, uh, on top of the top of the boat here. That we're all sitting down the center, so the boat is quite uniquely stable uh, as far as uh, as far as my my reference is concerned and by that I mean you can imagine trying to take a photograph with 600 lens and the boat is is rocking like this um, this boat is infinitely more stable which is critical with the long lenses so from that perspective the boat the boat really does the job uh, beautifully and um, there's lots of positions to actually put your store store your, your kit away so you don't um, you don't uh, bash into it as you're moving around and you can get up and, and you can actually walk around. Um, the boat also is, it, it, I, I think it's its ability to get into shallow spots because obviously getting the light behind you is critically important. Now the boatman and, and the, 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 the kind of boat that we're using gets us into very shallow spots with some absolutely superb locations with the light behind us which again is another I think unique feature, feature of this boat. Though the photographing from the water is a whole new experience for me. I've done a lot of photography on land and I've done a lot of photography from a vehicle. Coming from the water angle, I wasn't sure what to expect when I got talked into this and it, that wasn't difficult either, but I got talked into this. But it, it's given me a unique experience far beyond our, what I could have imagined to actually get so close to the animals, you're intimate with the animals. I mean, the, that session we had when we, we were on the beach and we had the elephants all around us, we had the, uh, the baboon all around us, we were part of their troop, we were part of that herd of elephant, we were intimate with them. And to be in there, taking photographs at that level, down at their level, it's an experience I'll go away with, I'll never forget. It, it's a first. You always remember your first of something. This was my first in that. It's, it's, it's burnt into my memory. That will never, that'll never leave me. It's fabulous. I have, have been on a boat with a professional photographer. Um, it was a stock standard boat. 
um, that one of the normal game lodges provides. But this one, this boat is absolutely unique. It's bigger, it's more roomy. Um, we don't have a roof as you can see, um, so certainly in terms of photographing birds and trees and that kind of thing, um, you don't get hindered by posts. Um, and the, it, it's very roomy. Equipment so, is always an issue for a photographer on safari. You start off by not getting uh, enough equipment on the plane, and then when you get onto a vehicle, it's always a problem. Now, what we've done from Nikon South Africa's side is simply to say, okay, let's help photographers uh, on, on this issue. So not only is the um, boat equipped, all the, uh, the photographic chairs equipped with Wimberley heads to make photography easy, but as you've also heard from other photographers, Nikon uh, Southern Africa makes available um, a photographic gear for photographers to try out. So here a photographer comes, he's only, he only owns a 70 to 200 lens, he wants to photograph skimmers on the Chobe, it's not gonna work. The lens are simply just too short, so do you stay at home? No, you join us on a Nikon Safari, because simply that's what's different about the Nikon Safaris as well. You've got access to professional equipment, you can try it out, and we hope to see you in our shops afterwards, purchasing that equipment uh, after a good experience, a life-changing experience with some really professional equipment. It was all absolutely accessible. The design on the boat has just facilitated the logistics of moving around with so much equipment uh, in a way that I wouldn't have experienced before. Get back, has got to be a bank manager. I need one of these. I cannot do bird life, wildlife without a fixed a 600, uh, 500, 600, whatever I've been using, cannot, cannot work without it. It, it. My other lenses just pale into insignificance when you're working with stuff like this. I don't see how I can ever go back to that life again. It's, it's incredible, absolutely incredible. The detail, the colour, it's mind-blowing. The comparison between the Serengeti, for example, the Masai Mara uh, and this trip, there you you, you kind of get the stock standard scenes in a sense. You're in a Land Rover, you're much more constrained and much more conflicted in what you want to do. Here, the variety, I think, the set of perspectives, the closeness, the level at which you're shooting these things, you're at least probably two foot, maybe two and a half foot lower than you would be in a Land Rover, even when you're scratching down at the window height, if you like. So much lower perspective, uh, much more intimate, much closer. Um, and, and just different. Uh, I've done the Masai Mara, I've done the Serengeti, all of those normal trips. My next trip is going to be back on this boat with, uh, with you uh, and the crew. Lo, you know, one of the things that made this trip also absolutely unique, we've spoken about the boat and the seats and the space and the perspective and all of those good things, but I think for me, one of the other unique differentiators of this particular trip was having Lo Kutzer, the professional wildlife bird photographer, with us on the boat. I mean, he brought another dimension to what we were doing, what to look for, how to see it. The knowledge of looking up in the sky, seeing two birds fly, which I would always have just seen as two birds flying away. You said to us, some action is going down here. Let's go there and wait. Have the patience to wait. And invariably, when you said that low, we went, we waited, and action really happened. Unique scenes to photograph things we would never have come across otherwise. So. The boat is one thing, but having you here as a professional photographer understanding bird life, understanding wildlife and understanding what happens in front of a lens really added a dimension to this trip which I'm afraid you're just not going to get if you just go and replace this boat with another engine and the same seats. So absolutely unique difference. Thank you very much for that. It was wonderful.